In this session, let us look at the difference between cash credit facility and overdraft facility. Before getting into the differences, let's look at the similarity. Both cash credit facility and overdraft facility are short term facilities repayable on demand. Okay, now let's get into the differences. The first difference is in terms of assessment. Cash credit facility is assessed by considering the working capital cycle of the borrower. This is basically sanctioned to fill working capital gap. Whereas in overdraft facility, banks will permit the customer to withdraw more than the balance available in your respective account. Banks also sanction overdraft as a separate credit facility considering cash requirements of the borrower. The second difference is in terms of security. Cash credit facility will have two types of security. The first one is primary security and the second one that is other one is collateral security. Primary security is basically the pledge or hypothecation of current assets whereas collateral security can be both liquid securities as well as properties. Whereas overdraft facility will not have any primary security rather it is sanctioned only on the strength of collateral security which may be a liquid security or properties. The third difference is in terms of drawings. Drawings in cash credit or drawals in cash credit is regulated by drawing power derived from stock statement. So it is possible that drawing power or the amount that can be drawn from cash credit facility may be below sanction limit. Whereas drawals in overdraft facility is straightforward and borrower can withdraw sanction limit anytime. The fourth difference is in terms of utilization. Cash credit facility can be generally utilized only for business purposes, whereas overdraft facility can be used for any purpose, not just confined for business. Fifth difference is in terms of interest. Generally, interest on overdraft will be slightly or marginally higher than interest on cash credit facility. The reason is the risk in overdraft facility is comparatively higher and there is also no primary security and there is no stringent monitoring mechanism like uh, as we have for cash credit. The sixth difference is in terms of insurance of securities. In cash credit, both primary security and collateral securities have to be secured, whereas in overdraft facilities, only the collateral securities because there is no primary security, so only the properties have to be secured. And the seventh difference is in terms of multiple banking arrangement. If a bank has already sanctioned a cash credit facility, they would have taken a charge on entire current assets of the business. That's how generally it happens. It means if any new banker is going to sanction additional cash credit facility to the borrower, they cannot get their proportionate charge or say paripasu charge on the current assets unless they get NOC, no objection certificate from the existing banker. Okay. Whereas in case of overdraft, no objection certificate from the existing banker who have sanctioned cash credit facility is not required because here there is no paripasu charge creation on current assets. What is sanctioned here is an independent facility with exclusive charge on independent assets given as collateral. So no objection certificate NOC is not required from existing cash credit banker. However, following banking ethics, new banker should inform the existing banker that they have sanctioned OD facility to this particular customer.